All right, you guys, finally I'm back and I got some new content for you. So today we're going to take a look how to make this number three illustration. So this was originally done by Domestica.org. They did this for the Black Friday promo for the last year, I guess. So today we're going to check out how to recreate this. And of course, if you want to check out some Domestica online courses related to graphic design, I got to leave a link in the description. All right, so we're going to start with this font. It's called the Chani Regular. Hope that's how you pronounce it. So I got to go and select the letter. And first we're going to go to the effects, 3D materials. Let's go to 3D classic and select rotate. So we're going to rotate this, put it a little bit in perspective, increase the perspective here. Maybe I'm going to add like 70 ish and I'm going to arrange this a little bit better. I'm going to try it out with these values. Click OK. Okay, so here we're going to need to create a duplicate. I'm going to press and hold all drag it. So this way we got like two copies. I'm going to work with this first one and I'm going to bring this out. So here we're going to go here to the effects, distort and transform, go to transform. And here we're going to go to the horizontal, decrease it to minus one. Let's go to vertical, increase it to plus one. And you can go here to the copies and increase it. So this is going to make the extrusion effect. Click OK. So if you zoom in, you can see we got some zigzags here in the extrusion. So you can then reduce that. So let's go to the effects. Let's go to path, select offset path. And now we're going to go here to the joints, change it to round. And you can see it's going to make it straight. And then you can go here to the offset and decrease it or increase it. So I'm going to click OK. All right, so from here, we're going to need to do some important steps. So I'm going to select the number three. I'm going to go to the object, expand appearance. And you can see we got some rectangles going on. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool. And I'm going to select these paths and press on delete and delete again. Let's go and select all the copies here and go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. And from here, we're going to need to set up the other number three. So I'm going to bring it in. And what we're going to need to do on this, I'm going to select it and go to Object, Expand Appearance. We're going to repeat the same step, select one of the paths, delete, delete. And now I'm going to select the number three. And what we're going to need to do is go here to the Pathfinder and click on Unite. And as you can see, it is going to change up here the options, but you're going to need to click on Unite. So now it's fully editable. So here I'm going to need another copy. So I'm going to press and hold all to drag it on the extrusion. And let's go and work on this one. So I'm going to select the top object, change up the color. I'm going to go with orange. And I'm going to need to create a duplicate of this orange shape. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Or you can go to edit, paste in front. So it's going to create another copy on top. And now I'm going to press and hold shift, select the extrusion as well. And then press shift plus M. Or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool here. Now press and hold Alt. Let's go and click on this orange number. So what this is going to do is remove the interior part of the number 3. So now I'm going to go to the Fill, change up the color of the extrusion. And here we're going to need to create some shading at the extrusion. So I'm going to go and select the extrusion, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F to create another duplicate. And here I'm going to go and change up this magenta to some darker magenta, something like this. Click OK. And now I'm going to search for the Erase tool. So as you can see, this is the size of the brush, but you can change that. You can double click on the icon. And here you can go to the size and increase it or decrease it. Or you can just increase or decrease the shape. What I'm going to do is just delete this area. Now I'm going to make this more organic rather than make it perfect. So it's going to look basically something like this. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to delete the rest and just try to redraw all the shading. So this is how the final result looks like. And I'm going to work with the orange shape. I'm also going to go to the stroke, add some color and increase the stroke thickness. And I'm going to increase it to three, make the corners rounded. And now we're going to make the pattern. So I'm going to place this here. Let's go and select the circle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, create a circle. And all you need to do is go here to the object. Let's go to a repeat and select the grid. So we're going to make this really cool dotted pattern and you can bring this here and down. And as you can see with these handles, you can increase the distance between the dots. So basically you're going to need to increase this handle as well, but you're going to need the same values. So let's go here and I'm going to select this value, press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and let's go here to the vertical value, Ctrl A, Ctrl V, enter. I'm also going to press and hold shift, scale it down. Probably I'm going to go with the size, but you can pixel peep it. Now let's go and place it on the number, press and hold shift or rotate 45 degree angles. And I'm going to go to the object, expand, 
click OK. I'm also going to go here. We get this rectangle, select the direct selection tool. Let's going to select this path, press on delete and delete again. All right. So I also going to select the direct selection tool and remove the unnecessary circles. So it's going to look like that. And now what we're going to need to do is select this orange number, press control C and then control F. And I'm going to right click on the orange number. Let's go to arrange and select bring to front. So it's going to be on the top. I'm also going to select the pattern and I'm going to go to the pathfinder, click on unite. And now let's press and hold shift. Also select the orange shape at the top, right click on it and select make clipping mask. So now we've got the pattern going on. Let's go and create another copy. This is going to be a pink. I'm also going to make this really light and I right click on it, arrange and bring to front and I'm going to place it somewhere at the top. Right, so from here, we're going to, need to create another pattern. Let's go and select this line and I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top. Change up the color to, I'm going to go with this magenta. And press and hold shift, create a line. Let's go to the effect, distort and transform, go to zigzag. And I'm going to select the smooth, increase the ridges, decrease the size. Damn, there's so many steps. And I think this is good. Click OK. You can increase the stroke. And from here, you can go to the effect, distort and transform, transform. Let's go and increase the copies by a lot and go to vertical, increase it. And this is going to make this really cool pattern. Probably going to go with this value. Click OK. Let's go to object, expand appearance. And what we're going to need to do is place it on the top of the number three. I'm also going to rotate this a little bit, something like that. Let's select the pink number three, press control C, control F, bring it on top, press and hold shift, select both, right click and select make clipping mask. And about least we need to create that really interesting stroke. So I'm going to select this last copy and I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. Now let's go to the stroke and increase it. And I'm going to go to the stroke option and let's go to align stroke and place it inside. I'm going to go with like 17. Let's go to object. Let's go to expand appearance. And now we're going to go here and swap it from fill to stroke and increase the stroke. Let's go to stroke options, make the corners rounded. And let's go and click on the fill. And here you can add another color, probably going to go with like this. So I'm going to bring this on the top place it on the number three. And by the way, I'm also going to need to create a duplicate of this. And here what I'm going to need to do is a right click and release compound path. So I'm going to select this top one and right click, arrange, send to back. And I'm going to select the exterior part. And let's go here to the object, path, select offset path. So first I'm going to go here to the joints and I'm going to change it to meter. And here we're going to decrease the offset now. So this stroke is going to go somewhere in the middle here. So I'm going to go with minus eight, click OK. And here I'm going to delete the exterior number three and the top number three. And then I'm going to remove the fill, click on the stroke. And then I'm going to bring this, place it in the middle, change up the color to some yellow. And at least we're going to add some shading. I'm also going to go and press and hold alt on this and drag it somewhere here. So what we need to do here is a right click, arrange, and let's go and select sand backwards. So here I'm going to copy actually this magenta color and I'm going to press and hold shift on this number three with the waves, press shift plus M and I'm going to delete the unnecessary shapes which are outside. And then I'm going to select this. Let's go to opacity, decrease it. And this way we've got some shading going on. All right, so this was a long ass video, but this is how you make it. Thanks for watching.